So when we are inside the sphere, inside the sphere, then we know that BL will be zero and we will have only the L remaining and the L we calculate it from here that this will be 2L plus 1. So AL is equal to 2L plus 1 by 2A to the power L and integration from minus 1 to plus 1 which is from in terms of this from minus 1 to plus 1 and 0 comes in between and dx p l of x I have written in terms of x and the potential which is v of x. So we will have to determine the coefficient a l because we are inside the sphere and I can further as we are not having a single potential but one is plus v and the other is minus v so I can write that this a l is equal to 2 l plus 1 over 2 a to the power l and let me break this so we will start from 0 to 1 and this will be dx p l of x and we will have plus v here then we will have another potential and this will be from 0 to 1 so it will be from 0 to minus 1 and we will have actually from minus 1 to 0 and dx p l of x and the potential is minus v here it is plus v so our expression is like this and now i know that only the odd values of l will give non-zero result only odd values of l will give will give non-zero result and we can check this one for example i know here from this that p naught of x is even p2 of x is even and p4 of x is even and so on so these are all the even l polynomials not the polynomial itself but from the point of view of l because l is 0 here 2 4 and so on while the odd polynomial the odd L polynomial are P1, P3, P5 and so on. These are the even L polynomial and these are the odd L polynomial. So I can check my expression for these two odd and even in order to check that whether it is giving us the right result or not. So let's see here that if I start with P0, P0 is equal to 1. We know this, that P0 is 1, while P1 is x in the polynomials. So let's see that from 0 to 1, and when P1 is x, P1 is 1, then it will be 1 in V. So forget about V, just because V is just, uh, potential and we will have dx here minus and from minus 1 to 0 we will have dx this is for the p naught 
and I know that it will be x from 0 to 1 minus this will again be x from minus 1 to 0 so this is equal it is 1 minus 0 so it is 1 and minus it will be 0 minus minus 1 so plus 1 that plus with this minus minus 1 and we will get 0 here one for the p1 of x p1 of x is equal to x so i can write from 0 to 1 x dx minus from minus 1 to 0 x dx and this will be x squared over 2 from 0 to 1 minus x squared over 2 from minus 1 to 0 and now this will be 1 over 2 and this will be 0 minus 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 and x square minus 1 square will be plus 1 over 2 so that minus will make this one minus minus plus and we got a non-zero result here for the odd L polynomial so it means that if we consider only the odd L functions then we will get the result and then we can combine these two by saying that this and this is we checked the earlier was giving 1 over 2 the later was giving 1 over 2 so it means it is 2 times 1 over 2 and we got 1 here so I can write this one that AL is equal to 2L plus 1 divided by 2A to the power L and this one I can write that from minus 1 from uh, from 0 to 1 and minus 1 to 0 so this will be from minus 1 to plus 1 minus 1 to plus 1 and now here v is here so v I can take as common so we will come here let me write that v is here and now as I combine the two integrals so it will be 2 times v here and we are left with d x p l of x so our a l is equal to this and I can put the polynomial here so a l is equal to 2 l plus 1 by 2 a 2 times v and from minus 1 to plus 1 and d x so we got for the polynomial 1 over 2 to the power l l factorial d l over d x to the power l and x square minus 1 to the power l now we will have to solve this integral and as i know from here that this integral is no not a constant this differential because here the power is l and here the x power is 2l so it means it will be a variable and it is a hard integral to solve so we will have to uh, use another tactic and that tactic we will use of the generating the tactic will be of the generating function because we cannot solve this integral directly so we will go to the generating function in order to find out the value of this polynomial or the integral so in order to consider the generating function we consider the potential due to a point charge 
on the z axis is viewed from some other point we remember that we have written the in the green function as well x minus x prime this is equal to 1 over r square plus r prime square minus 2 r r prime cos of the angle and square root. So this thing is going to 1 over r minus r prime and the r minus r prime I can write that r minus r prime is equal to r square plus r prime square minus 2 r r prime cos of the angle and this is 1 over 2. Now if I consider r is common from here then this implies that this is equal to r is common so I will have 1 plus r prime over r squared minus 2 and r prime over r because 1 r will cancel r prime over r and cos theta whole power 1 over 2. Now then we assume that r prime is less than r that is the source point from the source point the distance of the observation point is more then we will have r prime over r less than r equal to 1 and we define this r prime over r is t this we suppose and x we know that this is equal to cos theta so i can write that that this relation i can write is g g from the generating function x and t is equal to 1 over 1 which is this 1 plus t square minus 2 and t here and for x I can write cos of theta for cos theta I can write x and this whole is inside a square root and this we call is a generating function and this is equal to summation on n running from 0 to infinity p n of x t to the power n so we are having this in the form of a power series and the generating functions of p n now this is a very powerful generating function because with the help of this generating function if i want to find these coefficients p n of x just like in power series we are having like a naught a1 and so on as we have done earlier then if i want to find the coefficients so i differentiate i differentiate this relation with the help of tn so i can write that p n of x will be then equal p n of x is equal to when this is with respect to tn so we will get only pn of x and this will be equal to 1 over n factorial and curly n over curly tn 
and g of x t such that t will go to zero because otherwise we cannot expand this t should be this is t it should be less than 1 it should be going to zero similarly we can use this function to evaluate specific integral or derive the recursion relations so this p and of x is very important this generating function is very important and now we consider our integral of interest and our integral of interest was the Legendre polynomial which was 1 over 2l and factorial dl over dxl x square minus 1. So we will go to that. Let me consider that I suppose that I n integral is defined as from 0 to 1 dx p n of x. I call this integral is i n and now <clears throat> we will get this integration by the generating function and then afterwards we will use the derivative of this a t goes to zero and we will get our polynomials p n s so let's call i g integral is equal to 0 to 1 dx and g of x t. We do this integration. So this will be equal 